everyone, uh, Raider Dash and Womble here. Oh, just trying to relax a little bit here. I uh, hope everyone had a uh, great Thursday. I haven't actually uh, been on for the last few days. Uh, just um, had a day off and uh, really, not really a lot to say to be fair. Um, I tried one day of door dashing and, uh, or one evening of door dashing and it was completely shite. So, um, there was no point making a video about a completely shite night. Anyway, although I didn't give it a lot of chance, it was just enough was enough. <laughs> it was just, uh, one of those days where you just didn't, mine wasn't in the right frame of mind and, um, just wasn't worth doing it anyway um got out there last night it's now oh shite about 10 past three in the morning friday morning um i uh started at about five o'clock yesterday afternoon um and then uh waited around just a little bit oh Ended up doing a uh, job that worked, maybe going about seven or eight miles away, and it paid fifteen dollars. It was from uh, Firebirds. It wasn't a catering offer, uh, catering order, so it was paying pretty good, really, for what it was. And just uh, as I was driving down this road to go, the road it was being delivered to, it was all the way, all the way nice. And then, of course, the outside deliver to, it's got steps. <laughs> Two flights of steps. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Been somewhat of an interesting, uh, interesting uh, day, I suppose. Had um, several absolute crap offers. Um... You know, I decided tonight, or during during the shift, that I would do, uh, I've got plenty of pictures of way back of uh, offers that were absolute ridiculous coming through, and I'm just going to make a video of those. It's just a complete video of stupid offers coming through, and... DoorDash ought to be a flipping shame to themselves of flipping the crap that they push out the flipping drivers. How are we supposed to flipping earn a living? Absolute shite. I mean, they shouldn't flipping allow these flipping offers, some of these offers to come through. I saw one tonight, um, or during the shift, I think it was like $4 or four twenty-five. It was going something like 16 miles, and that was like for, for uh, uh, two pickups. And one of them was like Petco, and you had to go shop for it, I think. Oh, oh my God. Well, not a lot you can say about that. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, I'm just going to do a complete flipping bunch of videos like that. So, um, what was, it? I had one, first of all, Cava. We got this bloody Cava in our area, or in our delivery zone. Um, overpriced flipping, uh, Mediterranean food. Wannabe Mediterranean fruit food. It is absolute fucking crap, to be fair. I know that because we went and ate there if you've been last week. I've had Mediterranean food if you've been for a long time. We had some absolutely lovely flipping places in, in London that stayed open all bloody night long. Anyhow, so I get into this uh, cover tonight. It was paying pretty well. It's the only flipping. It's the only reason I took it. And I go in there, 
Oh, I don't, I don't, there was a bunch of people that were out here on the patio. A few people were starting to come out in line. Well, I went to the other way to go if you've been waiting for uh, someone to uh, give me the order. It wasn't on the shelves. And uh, I don't know what these restaurants have been do. They just, they hire these people that are absolute bloody bone idol. I mean, they just so, so, so slow. And then, like, there's a, a long line of people getting up now. If you've been at the other end, I'm at the at the end where the uh, register is because, well, I'm waiting for the bloody order to come out. And um, they bring out another order that, uh, that's for DoorDash, put out on the shelf. That was still there when I left. I was in there 20 minutes waiting before this bloody order. And, uh, oh. and there was two people that were in the back, um, in the back of the kitchen. They thought that they were hidden, but they weren't. Because they were over there just rabbiting. It's like, really stop flipping, yak it in and bloody come round and help. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh. Anyhow, got that order. Wanna drop that one off. It's, uh... You go to these, some of these other restaurants, they really flipping working hard. And then you get to these... Some of these others, and they're just bloody bone idle, lazy shites. Anyhow, uh, so did that bloody offer for that order. Um, had one tonight. Oh, well, I've had a couple of idiots. Had one from Pizza Hut. Um, later on in the evening, and it was, I'm going to put everything all up here, it ain't going to match up, but anyway, so I probably won't be chatting for too long, because, well, I won't, <laughs> I'll try not to, but, um, so, this one offer comes in from Pizza Hut, it was pretty late, around about 11 o'clock, and they closed at 12, and, uh, it weren't going all that far away, Actually, it wouldn't go far at all. But anyway, um, about a mile and a half, if that. And um, so it was a, it was a hand to me. That's right, it was a hand to me. So I get to the ad the address, following some idiot that that. Seemed like they were just drunk, but anyway, so they went on. I went and parked up on the opposite side of the road because, well, I got fed up, sat behind the drunk, and um, pulls up outside his house. Like I said, it's a hand to me. So, as I'm walking up to the house, there's no bloody porch light on. Um, I can hear the dogs rat, rat, rattling on in the in in the house, and I knock at the door, and no reply. I heard someone flipping telling the dogs to shut up, right? So then I rang on the bell. No reply. Well, I'm not leaving it there. So I called the customer, I went through the system, and it says, call the customer. All right. Called them, texted them, didn't get anything for a while. Finally, I'm like, and it, it's now giving me, like, the five-minute timer. Well, I walked back to the van, walked back to the, the vehicle, sat in, sat in here, and just waited for the timer to go. Then, in the meantime, I get a VIPing text from the customer saying, Oh, we'll just leave it. We're on our way. We're on our way. Uh, just leave it on the porch. I said, I can't. I said, I've got a five-minute VPN wait time on it before I can do any of that, before VPN DoorDash will allow me to take a picture or anything. 
there's a car on the driveway. Someone has clearly told the dogs inside to shut up. And they're telling me that they're on their way. Okay. Maybe someone else in the house has ordered it. Don't know. Don't care. Someone in the house should have been come to the door and taken the bloody food. But anyway, um, so I waited for the time to go and just went over there, took a bloody picture of it, made sure that the Vipin house number was in, in focus, was in the picture, because some of these, and it was one of the cheaper Vipin ones that I'd taken, it was like 660, it was going like a mile and a half, mile and a half, I think it was, and... Um, I no I normally do like a six fifty minimum. But I don't know. Lately I've I've been going a little bit higher than that. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna do a higher minimum. Uh even though the petrol's come down a little bit today or yesterday yesterday. It's just uh getting fed up with some of these houses that you go to like i did did one from taco bell so i left that one took the picture with that one's done right box and the uh, door dashes in um message system wasn't working so i had to go externally to my own vipping thing and then it tells you that door dash is trying to connect you with your customer and all that bollocks anyway uh and I'll put their fipping response up here. They said, oh, just leave it at the door. Leave it on the porch. Go on. <laughs> <coughs> just open your fucking door and let's fipping be done with it. Stop being a prep. Anyway, um... So then I get another offer, uh, order that I went and delivered. I think that was the bloody Taco Bell. I went to a different Taco Bell. I won't go to that one on, on uh, 291. Not a chance in hell. I sit opposite it many times, but there's no chance in hell am I going there. Actually, no, it might have been the Burger King. Or was it the Jack in the Bell? Anyway, one of them. So I get to this house, and... It's got some bloody great big pickup in there doing some lawn vipping pickup. They cut grass or whatever. And then some couple of other vehicles in the drive. So I've shimmies through the vipping gap to get in onto their stairs. Now it's not very well lit down here. Going up this drive up this uh driveway. Not very well lit at all. Um they did have a, uh, some light on the porch, but it was shit. But anyway, at least they tried, I suppose. But as I'm walking up the steps, as I go to walk up the steps, they got the wheelbarrow parked in front of the f front of the garage, and its handles have been going across the bloody, um, mostly across the steps. Like, what in the bloody hell do you? F why don't these people ever think about when they order food? Or any bloody thing? It's dark, and you've got obstacles in the bloody way. I'll tell you, half these customers don't even and think about what's going on. I'm not even sure anything's been rattling around in there, Ed. Air Ed comes to fipping wine a lot. Fucking absolute brainless. Anyhow, um, talking about bloody air I went and, uh, went to, um, uh, I think it's going to be on the camera somewhere, but there was, um, we went a quick trip, and this is one pet peeve about me, I really fipping hate this, and, um, why people just don't have bloody manners or whatever. It, it just pisses me off why people don't do this. I went to, we went to a quick trip during the evening and my wife got out to go in. She wanted a pit stop basically. So she's going off into, into quick, quick trip 
and uh, you know, she walks around with a cane, so people can hear her coming. She's not too steady on her feet um, since she's uh, got the diabetes and and uh, needs the kidney transplant. I mean, she is still going to dialysis, by the way, and she had a fifth one today. Yeah, fifth uh, session she had yesterday, excuse me. So anyway, um, but she's doing all okay at that and uh, a bit tired and I guess the needles are a bit hipping big that go into her for that. And uh, but she does well at that. She, it's, uh, she's pretty tough at taking those things. Me, I'll see a needle come to me and I'll be cringing. Oh, I do like needles. But anyway, I um, don't imagine many people do like needles, but crying out loud. I don't mind it once it's in. It's the going in and the wiggling about that I don't like. But once it's in, I'll sit there and watch them do whatever they're doing. <laughs> anyway, um, so anyway, so she gets out, she goes wandering up to the door. And there's this flipping stupid, flipping, as many words I can use, brainless, flipping arid. <laughs> She's on the phone. She must have flipping heard her coming, and she must have seen her as she was walking in. So she opens up the flipping door, and just as she goes in, she just lets the door go. Like, I always a flipping hold the door. And actually, the flipping people that were with her, or the blokes that were with her, saw my wife coming, and they held the door open for her. They should have brought that one out and flipping stamped on its fucking damn phone and shoved its head between the doors. <laughs> and see if that flipping rattles some sense out of you. Oh, crying out that I really hate that. Um, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. There was many words shouted when I saw that. And I think the blokes that were with her heard it probably, because bloody hell. <laughs> oh, brain dead. Absolutely brainless. Just too busy stuck on the phone and not caring about anyone else. Anyway. So, uh... What else uh, went on the Dashing Grandpa um, uh, live show tonight? Unfortunately, got on there a bit late. and uh, But got on there, I had a saw what was going on for about 10 minutes and 10, 15 minutes. And unfortunately, like I said, that was towards the tail end of his, uh, his live show. But it was always good to watch him. It was good. It's not always talking about flipping DoorDash or Gigat crap, so stuff. It's good to chat about other stuff rather than that. Um, yeah, not really a lot else going on. I'm getting um, tired of that new new part of um, DoorDash where their stupid flipping thing comes on and says... Uh, <coughs> Um, are you at the correct address? Of course I'm at the bloody correct address. This is where you bloody well took me to, you blasted thing. And then you keep hitting got it, and it keeps coming back. Are you sure you're at the address? Well, I fucking had enough of this. And then you just hit the button below, or the text button below, and it says, yeah, I'm at the... whatever it says. I'll put it all up here. It's like you keep, keep questioning yourself. Like, you just bloody well... Your app just took me right to the house. Plus, I can see the sodding number on the house. Don't always see the sodding number on the house, but it, there it is. You generally find it somehow. But, um... Yeah, so I'm getting tired of that bloody app. That thing's been ridiculous. Becoming ridiculous. Um, the other thing is, is... They had that um, six, uh, what was it? Six delivery VIP in street going on. 
So you had to deliver six shipping uh, uh, offers or orders in a row, and then you get an extra nine dollars or something like that. Yeah, I never got that. <laughs> I never did get that, and that that was like a couple of weeks ago. I haven't seen any any of it ever since. Since it was, I thought it was just like every every now and again it was going to come on or at a certain time of the day or whatever, but it seemed to like be on all the time. And then um, now it's disappeared. Good riddance. <laughs> it was a six sweeping deliveries in a row. Come off it. And even like if you got to the fifth one and then it's a $2 vipping offer comes through. What are you going to do? Are you going to flip in just, uh, are you going to take it or just to uh, get the extra $9? Nah. That wasn't happening. Absolutely stupid idea that was. Whoever at DoorDash came up with that idea and they'd have kicked up the arse. That was ridiculous. Some of these DoorDash flipping people need to actually get out and do it and understand it understand what it's like to be out fipping trying to fip in earn a living doing this or earn a few fipping dollars i mean we're all out here every day fipping every night whichever time we do it maybe some people a lot of people are part-time doing it i know but but for those that are out here fipping this is all we got to do type thing how are you gonna pull this fip it it was on charge got fed up with it this is all that we've uh, got to do in a way with uh, the work. Um, some of us can't go to full time work. I'm full, at full time work for various circumstances, but um, so this is mainly what we're relying. Not just DoorDash doing Uber Eats. Oh yeah, Uber Eats is not. Um, etc. But I don't get these people that strike about it. They strike that vipping, they want vipping, better pay. You're a freelancer, you're self-employed, you bloody idiot. <laughs> which means, they, you know, self-employed, you're a self-contractor, which means that you look after your bloody self. So in other words, if a $2 offer comes in, you don't fucking take it. Because <laughs> you know you ain't going to earn any money from it. You're just going to be delivering for free so don't be a flipping plonker don't bloody well take the fucking offer if it doesn't meet your flipping uh needs or meets your criteria then don't bloody do it the more of these bloody two dollar offers that don't get picked up or free under flipping five dollars or more it's just, just don't pick the bloody things up stop doing it Stop doing it. And if you do pick them up and your car gets ruined or something happens, then you're the bloody idiot if you've been done it. So <sighs> deal with it. Uber. Uber tonight. So I'm sat outside the IHOP or in their car park. I'm over that side of town. I've been changing the side of town that I sit on now. And, um, but we got over there, over at IHOP to the wet. Hey. Oh, bollocks. Uber Eats against my better judgment I'd put on. So this offer comes in. I'm not too fond of Uber Eats. They seem to be coming, becoming the, uh, well, worse than DoorDash. That's how it's become with him. Anyway, so this offer comes in. It's going, I think, five miles. And it's from the Burger King across the road, literally across the road from where I was, where I was sat. And uh, it came up. Paying 
Uh, sure, I'll take it. So I go, I go over there. To, to, I went. I said to my wife, "Yeah, we'll see what this fucking turns out." <laughs> Literally, have to go across the road. It probably took us two, three minutes to get there, if that, right? Because I literally just got a go called pull out the car park, go around it, hot traffic light, straight across there, through there, drive through, and I'm there. Didn't have to race. I mean, there was no one on the bloody road that time of night when I went over there. So I get in there. I know I had to wait at a flipping uh, speaker box because she was tied up. And I get up there and... Uh, I said, Uber Eats picking up for whoever it was. That order's already been picked up. <sighs> Fucking Uber Eats. There is, I think, and they sent me a message about bloody uh, talking to your local vipping, I don't know, representative or some load of shite earlier. I got that yesterday, I think I got that, or the day before. Uber Eats, freaking hell. I literally had to go across the road, come on. I was going to, all I did was report it as closed. Now, if you want your $3 compensation, you have to call them. Because I haven't had this three dollars yet for reporting reporting it picked up, excuse me, already picked up by another driver. What a complete load of shit. You gotta be on the phone for twenty minutes with this lot to get you three dollars. If you had that shit with Vipping uh um DoorDash, they would give you half the Vipping money. Due. Sometimes that's that's too much for going across the road and spending there. But bearing in mind, you've, you've been committed yourself to go take pick up an offer and may well be missing another vipping offer for, of, of the other platform or something else. So could it be taking work away from you? Hell yeah. Of course it can. Don't be ridiculous if you don't think. You'd be bloody ridiculous if you didn't think that. If you thought otherwise. I mean, bearing in mind that time of night, you wouldn't think there was a whole lot going on. No, there's not a whole lot going on. But there's still stuff, go there, there's still something going on. And you could be wasting your bloody time sodding about with bloody ripping uh, uh, Uber Eats. And you can go from one side of town to the other with Uber Eats. It, it's happened to me before. I've gone vipping six, seven, five or six miles to go pick up an order from, I don't know, what was it? McDonald's or something or other. Like shit. Over the other side of town. Maybe it weren't five. Well, it might be a four or five. Anyway, um, and you get over there and they've closed. So you spend the time on the bloody phone with trying to figure out, are they really closed? Is there anyone waiting? No, because we've had Vipping restaurant staff wait for us before. Of course, that was at proper restaurants, not Vipping Mickey Mouse bloody in mix shite. But, or Techie Bell. But, um... And then you spend the time on the phone. Not only have you wasted the bloody time and petrol going there, and the time sodden about driving around to make sure that no one is waiting to uh, hand you the, off, the order. Um, you then got the time that you spent on the bloody phone with uh, uh, Uber Eats, and all they turn around and do is give you three dollars for it. As I said, if that had happened on DoorDash, then you would get half the pay. And if it was ten dollars, you get five dollars. Not a great deal more. But it's still uh, better than the three dollars. What it happens with uh, Grubhub? I can't remember ever having that with Grubhub. 
maybe I have have had something, I don't know, but we don't really do a whole lot of grub up because, well, they're ridiculous. Anyway, uh, enough from me. I would have done everything, put everything on here before. And, um, yeah, got some things happening soon that I'll be uh, um, announcing. Haven't quite got around to uh, um, figuring a lot of things out. There's been a lot of other stuff that's hit me at the same time. And uh, sometimes one doesn't know which way to turn or just stick your head in the oven first. But anyway, <sighs> I'm telling you. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and... Um, Hope you all have a great weekend. Hopefully you make a mint on Vipian Friday and over the weekend. I think the uh, Chiefs are playing over the weekend. Not sure. Um, not sure if anyone really cares how the bloody Chiefs do anymore. Anytime I watch the bloody telly, or, and it's that the news or that entertainment crap pops up, they're all on about bloody Vipian. Those... Became one of the Chiefs players, flipping, having a shagging, flipping some top, flipping pop star or something. I don't really give a flying crap. Why does all this flipping stuff keep hitting? Put the flipping proper news on. Let's have less of the news. Put some flipping good stuff on there. And stop flipping telling us what all these flipping over flipping um, paid bloody stars are doing i don't care <laughs> i really don't give a flying shit anyway um thanks for watching have fun and uh be safe and make a mint cheers Ta -da.